Hello and welcome. Today we'll go through a quick launch of VNS3 in Azure. We'll start from bare minimum, assuming we have nothing set up in Azure, so we'll just run through a quick launch. So there are two ways of getting VNS3, either from the Azure Marketplace out here on the public internet, or through your portal. So if you find VNS3 in the Marketplace, once you're logged in, you'll see this button, Get It Now. From the drop-down, you have three options, our free edition, our light edition, or the bring your own license. If you click continue, it'll take you back to the dashboard. The other option is just to search from the marketplace in the portal, and you'll see all of our options. So we've got two long-term server editions in here too, that's the 3x, and then the 4x is the current. So let's do the free edition. No matter which one you pick, you'll see this next screen, just a little bit of information. And then further down is all of our documentation and some useful links. If you've got a relatively recent Azure account, this will be grayed out. You can only launch in the Resource Manager. Go ahead and click Create. All right, here's where we can start customizing our VNS3 VM. So I'm going to name it MV Demo. You have the option to pick your disk type. This is SSD, which is premium, or what they used to call standard HDD. My username and password don't actually matter for VNS3 because we don't have shell access, but it's still required by Azure, so this doesn't matter. And I'm going to type a password that has a capital letter, a number, and is a certain magical length. All right, I have a pay as you go. I don't have any resource groups, so I'm going to create new, name it mvdemo1. I'm going to pick the central location and click OK. Next, this is the size of the virtual machine that you'll be running it on. Again, you'll have the disk type option. You can go back and change if you want. We recommend HDD or standard, but if you're looking for big throughput or customizing, um, talk to us and you can always run it on a larger VM size to get a little bit better throughput. But we're just keeping it simple here. So we're picking A2 basic, it's our cheapest monthly. <clears throat> All right, here's where we get into our customizing. Under network, click virtual network. There's nothing in my Azure account, so definitely creating a new one. Oh, and it's already named, MV Demo Group VNet. Cool. Instead of the default, I'm going to change it to 10.10.10.0 slash 24, just to get away from default. My subnet, I'm gonna name it demo default and do 10.10.10.240 slash 28. Okay, and then what do you know? Here's my new subnet, subnet right here. Next, let's make a public IP address. I'm gonna create a new one, mvdemo IP, looks good. Make sure it's static so that if anything changes, you'll still have a, a solid connection. All right, next. Network Security Group, these are firewalls. It's named it MV Demo NSG. Looks good. This one is suggested by Cohesive Networks, so it, it comes pre ready to go. So it's got a priority in here. Looks fine. I'm just going to tag so that the source from the internet, so that means traffic from anywhere on the internet to port TCP 8000 is allowed. Cool. Next, it looks like SSH is allowed. I don't want that. Plus, there's no shell access to VNS3. It's not like a open box. So let's just deny that. Next, you have the option to add more inbound rules. Depending on what you're doing, um, make sure to check out our documentation to see which ports you might need. So I'm going to call this peering, and priority is right after TZP11. 
tag. So anywhere within my virtual network that is on UDP 500, allow, click OK. Um, right now we've got outbound rules all open and that's fine. You can lock that down later if you need to. And we're just going to skip over extensions and high availability. We don't want any monitoring, don't want any guest OS diagnostics, just keep it really simple. Click OK. Here we go. Step four, cl click OK. Yep. All my new, so here's the new VNet I created, my subnet with the IP address that I want, IP range. I have a new static public IP address, a new network security group. Okay. All right. And your VNS3 will deploy. You'll get a little update right here, and you should see it on your dashboard. And through the magic of television, here is an up and running VNS3 demo. So if I click on it, you get the whole overview. And let's grab this public IP address. I clicked on it. I'm just going to highlight it. Open a new tab, HTTP s colon slash slash my IP address colon 8000. You might get this warning, say advanced and proceed. My username is VNS cubed and my password for the first time is VNS cubed. Click login. All right, this is the free edition. So the first thing you'll see Big warning to update your admin password, but first, register for support and updates. Click here and get my license. Request. I get this little note. Click close, and somewhere over in my email, I see a little tips about getting started. And here's my license. So copy begin PGP through end PGP. Over on the left, I'm going to click upload license and paste it in there. Click submit. Give the option for license parameters. This is keeping it simple, so we'll go with pre-configured. And you submit and reboot. And again, through the magic of television, once it relaunches, if you click on the cohesive in the corner, you'll see this getting started stage. So we've done license parameters. The next steps are to either fetch key set or generate new. This is a new one, so I'm going to generate new. Demo. I'm going to name it something really insecure. And with a refresh, you'll see an update. And then over on the left, these will become blue. So our final step is to click on controller peering. Because it's a free edition, we only have one, so no peering. But just go ahead and click this instance and save changes. Now our VNS3 free edition is configured and ready to go. Click on status, and here's all of the information you need for your IP addresses. And get started with VNS3 in Azure.